some Sagittarius need to know this week. <laughs> I heard sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Some of y'all are growing really thick skin. All right. I feel like some of you may have um, had this like poker face on, but this week something is changing within you to where you really don't give a damn about what people are saying about you. We've got four of swords. We've got death. Okay, what else is coming out? And then we've got king of swords. This could definitely be in the workplace, dealing with people who you work with or you see on the day in and day out. For some of you, I feel like you may have been trying to overdo it in your place of employment, trying to live up to unrealistic expectations. I feel like things may be um, affecting you physically uh, this week, specifically in regards to your health. All right. It's like trying to keep up with appearances this week. Some of you may be trying to keep up with appearances. And I feel like you are going to have to change the way that you're doing something. Change your dynamics up or you're being guided to do this. For some of you, you're very disciplined individuals. All right. And it's like I see that you want to stay on top of all of your tasks. And possibly you may be over um a set group of people to where you have to stay on your toes i feel like your spirit guides are coming in in this time and trying to get you to know that this is holiday season this is time for you to relax get off your motherfucking feet sag okay there is a change that needs to happen for you because i feel like there are also changes going on within your body that you're needing to um you're needing to focus on or take care of or take care of you in this time. For some of you, I feel like Sagittarius is y'all are in this energy of wanting to take care of everybody, do everything for everybody. It's like, I don't know if you're in the Christmas season uh, energy, wanting to be everything to everybody. But some of you need to um, know when it's time to take a break. For some of you, maybe um, <laughs> coming up on some kind of wave of burnout if you don't get off your feet okay i feel like it may be showing itself in forms of like blood pressure or something of that sort there's something that needs to change in this time i feel like a lot of you need a vacation you're doing too much in regards to your work some of you really love what you do but there are things that are changing in this time and it's like i see you want to stay on top of each and every task but there's something going on in this time where you are needing to pull yourself away from that it's because coming too much some of you are being told it's time to delegate parts of your work to other individuals okay um, allowing other people to come through and help you in this time for some of you this could even be in regards to who's wrapping what under the tree okay who's getting what under the tree um, for some of you I feel like there is a lot of kindness and generosity around you um, people who may I'm not going to say you were taking them for granted, but I feel like it's people who would love to come forth and help you in this time. Some of you are having to go through some kind of death to ego this week. Okay, I feel like there's somebody here who's been on the outskirts waiting on you to need them and ask them for help. They want to help you. Okay, um, we've got two of cups that's tried to pop out. This could definitely be someone who you are in a love dynamic with or this could be your mother and your father okay um i've got scorpio out here i've got aquarius gemini uh libra all right i feel like there's somebody here who you may have even been into it with like you may have said certain things that you needed to get off your chest you may not even be on um, the same, like you may not, it's like you may have love for a specific individual, but I feel like you're trying to do everything on your own, but it's like cutting off your nose to spite your face. Uh, this week you're needing to know that it's actually time to collaborate with said people, said, uh, people who are actually there for you. Okay. People in the audience, I feel like you have a lot of help at your disposal, but it's like you've been doing some, you've been doing too much. And this week, I feel like if you don't, um, start going with the flow, and moving in the way that you're being guided to move, you're going to be forced to sit down. And I don't even want to say what they're coming to me with because they're saying stuff about twisted ankles, sprained ankles. I don't like that they keep saying ankles. Makes me feel like I need to keep boots on this week. But um, watch your ankles, okay? 
um, and moving too quickly. For those of you who are refusing to listen to spirit, they're going to sit your ass down this week if you don't listen. All right. I feel like there may be somebody who you're on the outs with who there may need to be something that is mended between you and this individual. You may have been holding off from having a specific conversation with the person, but I feel like it's coming up this week uh, to be had. Okay. I heard by, let bygones be bygones. There's something about communicating clearly or needing to communicate clearly this week. Okay. I feel like this is someone who is also headstrong or they may be set in their own type of ways. This could be definitely somebody in your family group, a family member of yours. All right. I feel like there is something that is actually going to be healed for you this week. And it's in regards to someone who you are bound to either through f by family or by contract. And it's the same thing. I guess it is. I don't know. Anyways, so I feel like there's a change happening there. There's a transition that's needing to be made. I feel like if you were like he <laughs> going toe to toe with a specific individual and it's like you couldn't see eye to eye, I feel like there is going to be some kind of change that is coming in um, this week for you with this person. Somebody is wanting to fix something. It's like, I don't know if you said something that hurt someone's feelings or they said something that hurt some, like, you know, hurt your feelings. But I feel like you've been avoiding this conversation like the plague. Okay. You may have um, focused on setting certain ba very high boundaries, might I add, with this individual and people who are uh, connected to this individual. I feel like there's something that is needing to be discussed here or that's coming up. It's like, I'm not going to say it's festering, but it's something that's coming up to be handled this week. All right. And this is something that you've been either turning the other cheek to or refusing to look at. This is definitely a form of conflict or someone who, I mean, there was choice words. Okay. And this is someone here who you've got some kind of partnership with. I feel like there's a change that's coming in for you and a specific individual who you're on the outs with. Okay. If this is not a partner or someone you've got a contract with, this could be a coworker even. Somebody who actually wants to mend fences. There's something about mending fences this week. Okay. Changes happening is mending for some of you you may even it's like you may be feeling energies around you this week that are kind of putting you on edge like it's almost um giving you some form of anxiety because you know a specific conversation is coming that you've been trying to avoid all right i do have a situation with a mother and father out here i do see the child situation i see child support i see a, a mother i see a union i see a bickering okay so there may be something going on in regards to a connection where you have pushed someone off or refused to have a specific conversation with an individual who has been causing you nothing but chaos and conflict. Someone who has anger issues and only wants to see it their way. A very assertive and aggressive individual. Something's happening with that this week. What is that? Is this a change to a contract? What is this? What is this that's happening between them and this person this week? We've got Six of Cups, and we've also got Strength. Okay, so this person is reminiscing on the times when you were good. You and this person were good, or maybe y'all's relationship was stronger. Um, I feel like there's something about childhood wounds that's coming up to be addressed this week. All right, somebody is wanting to put an end to petty squabbles or any kind of confrontation and I feel like this is a very aggressive individual so if you're trying to avoid this conversation I can see why you would be detached and not even responding maybe even have this person on block I feel like this person's energy gives you anxiety okay it's like this person may only see when times were good in the past and you see the full spectrum of things right now for some of you you've gone through some kind of major awakening to where it's like you don't just see something um 
you don't just see one side of shit. You see the whole thing, okay? And I feel like there's somebody here who is wanting to bring your energy back up to when times were good or when things weren't so heavy. Somebody's wanting to put an end to um, squabbling. Look, is this person actually going to apologize this week? Is that what it's saying? This person going to apologize this week? I think it's really funny that everybody's outside and decides to come by this window that I'm recording out. Ain't that, ain't that a mess? Okay, so we've got Knight of Cups. That is a proposition, okay? That is a proposal of some sort, okay? Yeah. Um, for some of you, you should actually, you can expect someone to come in with an apology. I see an apology here. Somebody's wanting something new with you and they know that the only way out is through is what i'm getting the only way to change the dynamic and get anything to go remotely in their favor is to come through and offer some form of apology i feel like you need to know it's taking this person a lot to do this this person's pride and ego are unmatched okay this could be a leo aries another sagittarius Okay, I feel like there's somebody here who they want to put an end to it. So this week, expect someone to come in and want to have some clear cut communication between you and them on what it actually is, what actually happened. And I feel like, you know, this conversation may end up a little bit awkward. Okay, um, I feel like you may be feeling some type of way, but it's like. Things are going to be a little bit raw, okay? I'm getting, like, raw conversations, all right? Others of you have got a whole different message, and I don't even want to go here. I do see a baby mama to baby daddy situation. If you have been on the outs with this person, I feel like they're coming in with some kind of new opportunity or, you know, somebody trying to somebody trying to link up. <laughs> somebody trying to get it in this week, all right? Uh, coming in with a proposition, they may bring in certain gifts to try to... Um, cover up some kind of issues that were happening in the past. They feel like if they show up in a financial way or if they show up bearing gifts that you will forgive them. Let me let you know they got something in mind, okay? They're very attracted to your ass and they're coming in trying to slang that thing, okay? And I don't even want to go any further into this. <laughs> That's what I see for you guys, Sagittarius, this week. Please don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe. If you want the daily uh, post, I will be over there on Patreon and that will be listed in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a positive affirmation for you guys this week. We have... Today, I live in the present. Today, I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. So, for some of you, it's like you are changing the way that you're viewing things. And I feel like it is actually putting you in more control of your situation by being more in control of your emotions. Anyways, that's what I've got for y'all. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.